In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give some tips on navigating between the differences of the products currently available in PowerDirector. Before version 17, you could choose between the Ultra version and the Ultimate version. And I'd like to follow up these tips with a second video just on the difference between those two products. But now in version 17, we have a third option, which is called 365, which is basically a subscription model. And so I'm on the website for CyberLink, where it's giving me a comparison between these three options. You notice when you go there, you can click on Ultra or Ultimate or 365. Now, as I'm on the screen right now, there's a sale going on until Christmas with a 30% discount, which is not too bad. And notice also in the subscription plan, you can choose a one month subscription, a three month or a 12 month. Let's talk a little bit about the difference between the lifetime license and the subscription. The lifetime license is what CyberLink has had up until now. And so they give you two different packages, one slightly more full featured than the other. It starts with the Ultra and ends with the Ultimate. The subscription model says we will give you everything in the Ultimate version plus constant updates plus a little bit of new content, but you pay by the month or pay by the year. Now I understand the subscription model is very good for the vendor because it's a constant flow of income. It may be good for you as well if you like to keep on top of the latest and greatest from CyberLink. But I do have some reservations about it if you're on a limited income. I tend to shy away from the subscription model in some cases because when I'm done paying the subscription, I have no software that I can use. It really doesn't matter what the product is. If I'm a true subscriber, when I stop subscribing, there's nothing for me to use. And so if that's a consideration, you may want to lean toward the lifetime license. Or if you're a person who says, well, I'll upgrade every other version or every three versions, and that's good enough for me. So you'll have to decide for yourself, depending on the means that you have and how you want to approach it. But these are the two classes of versions that we have. The lifetime license under the blue and the subscription. And in the middle, we have a bundle where they're bundling PowerDirector with PhotoDirector, their photo editing software. And this one, 365 Director Suite, is similarly a bundle uh, with PowerDirector and other kinds of products inside. So let's look a little bit at some of the key differences. If you go with a subscription model, which they're kind of pushing, as you can tell on this screen, you have unlimited access to all the plugins for video editing and photo editing, extra background music, and some newest features. So they try to roll out stuff month by month to make it more attractive to you. Let's go down a little bit on the screen. And here again, we see some sale prices. The sale prices right now aren't too bad because the difference between the Ultra and Ultimate at normal pricing is $30. In this case, it's 20. And so I would urge people, if you're considering Ultra or Ultimate, a lifetime license, uh, and you can get the sale price, go with the Ultimate because you get a lot more. And that's what our next video will be about. But basically, here are all the things that they all have, no matter which version you get. They talk about all their creative editing tools and some of the new features in version 17. Then they talk about what they call precision design tools. And here are all the features they have in version 17 that you get regardless of which one you pick. And then they have another class they call professional editing features. And these are all in all of the, all of the options you have. And then they have some performance and format options. And you notice those are the same across all of the platforms. So it doesn't matter. One thing that will make a difference is when you get to premium plugins and effects. In our next tutorial, we'll talk in more depth about that. 
Here again, we have the same unlimited access rows that we had up higher. I'd like to focus on the content packs and the third-party plugins. The difference between the Ultra and Ultimate is the Ultimate gives you a Wedding Pack and Holiday Pack version 9. The Ultimate also gives you ProDad Adorage 10 and ProDad Vitacene 3 LE. The Ultimate Pack also gives you New Blue Tidler Pro 1.5, Boris Film Style and Stylize, but if you're interested in comparing them, I encourage you to go to this website at CyberLink Power Director, or you can just Google Power Director Comparison, and it will give you this chart, and you can see for yourself all the differences. There's some cloud storage differences also between the subscriber model and the regular license model. In our next tips, we're going to give you a tutorial talking about how the Ultimate is different from the Ultra. And in most cases, unless your budget is extremely tight, I would encourage you to seriously consider the Ultimate version, and I'll show you why in the next tutorial.